So you guys have seen uh, my Mustang in the previous videos. Not really a whole lot. Um, there hasn't really been like a lot of driving stuff done with it. There hasn't really been, I guess, really much of anything besides besides me showing you guys the car and working on it a few times. Um, so the car I showed you guys, it's it's supercharged. Uh, it it's still getting the kinks worked out. It has a base map tune on it right now, but. Uh, the reason why I don't drive it a lot, the reason why it there's not a lot of videos of it is one, because I'm still working all the kinks out. Number two is, since I was finishing the car up, I didn't really have any gauges. So today, we're gonna install this. It's a wide band and a boost gauge all in one, which is good because I don't want gauges everywhere, but I, I need, to know my boost, I need to know my air fuel ratio, and I think I'm gonna run water temperature because this car has a history of running hot, and I don't want it to run hot. Um, so let me show you what we're working with. So this is the the bezel and the actual gauge. You can see there's all kinds of wires and stuff. Uh, since it is boost and air fuel and it can do data logging, it's kind of complicated to install. Um, I'm not going to run the data logging feature of it, I don't think, because I have a t my tuner that does that, like my handheld tuner data logs. Essentially this goes around the steering wheel and then this is like in between the, the holes in the steering wheel. Like, let me show you guys. So it goes in here, and you'll see the gauge right there in that part of the steering wheel. There's not a whole bunch of write-ups uh, on how to remove this online. It's kind of something you don't remove a whole lot, but uh, if you don't know how to do it, it can be kind of annoying. So let me show you really quick how to do it. This is for 94 to 04 uh, SN95s. So uh, down here, down here, there's usually, let me see if I can do this. This metal piece right here usually goes up right there. And then this plastic piece covers it. So you just literally pull this off. You just pull on it. And then there's two eight millimeter bolts that hold that metal thing in. Uh, and then it gives you access to all of the wiring and the steering column, all that stuff. And then there's four bolts. One, two, three, and then there's one over here. You just take those out. Okay, so that one just fell out. Uh, you just take those out and pull this off. If you can get it off. The hard part is getting out of the... Uh... There we go. Alright, and then uh, for this one, the top piece, you can see it's it's loose, but it's held on with the ignition switch. So you got to put your key in the on position or accessory. So either back or forward, it doesn't matter. Um, and then there's like a little little pin that you press in the ignition switch, and you press it, and you pull the whole ignition switch out. And then this top cover just kind of lifts right off. You put the new cover on, put the ignition back in, and then it's reverse. I'm gonna remove the ignition, remove the top cover, um, but I'm gonna leave the bottom cover, the metal plate, and then the plastic. Uh, cosmetic piece off so I can run the wiring for the gauge a little bit easier because there's quite a bit of wiring that you have to do to get that to work and uh, it gives me access to the fuse box that's right there so that'll be really easy to get a constant power which you need obviously um, and then there's some good ground spots down there too it says it's grounded to the it says recommended to ground to the battery but uh, as long as you get like metal on metal you're fine so yeah, step number two, or uh, Casey and I figured out this gauge uh, situation. Got it all wired up, got it running good. So let me show you what we're working with. So this is a safety relay. Um, and the blue and the yellow wire go to a boost controller. But since I'm supercharged, 
Uh, I don't have a boost controller because my boost is controlled by the pulley. So I don't need that uh, wired up, or at least these wires not wired up. Um, this right here goes down into the header. Uh, we took out the downstream O2s because they're not hooked up. And then we uh, replaced it with the sensor that goes to the wideband. If we go down here, this is where it gets kind of like complicated. So we have this wire. Uh, this goes to the boost gauge, or so this plugs into the wire that goes to the module, which regulates the vacuum. Uh, this goes to the relay. I just plug this in because uh, I don't. I, it didn't tell me if you're running a supercharged setup whether or not you needed it, so I plugged it in just in case. And then this big one is the wideband. So we were having some issues with it. Um, it needs to like be calibrated so you have to install the gauge turn the gauge on so it needs to be powered I have it powered to ABS since my car doesn't have ABS um, so it needs to be powered on without the sensor plugged in turn it off powered on with the sensor plugged in in open air turn it off install the sensor plug it back in and then start the car let it warm up it's pretty sweet. Let me show you guys uh, what it what it looks like. All right, so turn the gauge on. Boost air fuel. HTR means it's warming up. So you can see it's thirteen point five. I'd probably say um, on a cold start at idle. So that's not too bad. We can cycle through. Boost in the big numbers air fuel in the small numbers it's running a little rich now peak boost uh, there's no load so only boost only air fuel and then both um, yeah so pretty sweet it's running pretty good now um, so next step is Sorry, it's pretty loud. Next step is wire up the fan. Um, do something about this rat's nest under here. And then put it under some load. And uh, see what my wide open throttle air fuel looks like. Do a couple pulls. Do some cruising. Um, data log it. And then finish the tune. And it should be done. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know it wasn't too exciting. Uh, just installing a gauge. But one step closer to making more videos of this thing so i'm excited um if you haven't yet consider subscribing below and i'll catch you on the next one